Atrocious acts of religious suppression called coercive conversion programs have occurred in South Korea. In response, a first annual commemoration ceremony for a victim of coercive conversion was held together with a rally to demand a law to ban coercive conversion programs and call for legal punishment of conversion pastors. <laughs> Coercive conversion is an act that utilizes violence to forcibly change or convert the Christian beliefs of the victim to that of another Christian denomination in clear violation of basic human rights. Rallies have already been held all over the world in protest. And coverage by news companies such as the New York Times continue to follow. In South Africa, a rally against coercive conversion programs was held last year. And early this year, a commemorative ceremony for a victim of coercive conversion was held here also. People gathered on 6 January at company gardens to pay their respects. And there was a unanimous agreement over the fact that no one must ever again fall victim in this way. So, through her memory, we must actually be inspired to continue what we do as, as these ambassadors. Even now, coercive conversion is an ongoing reality in South Korea. Everyone must raise their voice to rid the world of coercive conversion, the symbol of a terrible suppression of human rights. <laughs>